Evie Corrigan, world record deadlift, 208.5, Joe. She's going through it. I didn't honestly think we'd see this. This is Farana Farid's record that she set at, at the Asians. This will give her a 481 kilo total, pushing her temporarily from fourth to second place overall. Well, that's huge. That's 20 kilos over her own total world record. This is where Evie could start to shock people. Winning Sheffield last year, pacing for a podium finish this year. She just keeps upping the standard and meeting that new standard. People question whether she could replicate the 484. She did at a slightly higher body weight, and she's answering those critics right now. Yeah, and she did that at a higher body weight, home in New Zealand and the other side of the world. But Evie's built different. 30 seconds. With wow. ease, with ease. That was incredible. Three white lights. Moves herself into second place. Still got another round of deadlifts to go in the conclusion of the second round, but Evie Corrigan, defending Sheffield champion, 52 kilo world champion. So 231.5. This will still move her ahead of Natalie Richards. Jad, last year, upset the world champion at Sheffield. Can she do it again? 227 and a half moved well. It's her own world record. If you remember, this might, was 231 what they loaded and 231.5 would have been the winning pole at Worlds. Yes. Here's some redemption. This is what should have been loaded. This is what could have been loaded. And if she hits this, redemption at Sheffield for Jad Jacob. Here we go. This is a massive for Jad Jacob. It's all come down to one final pull in the battle of the 57s. Jad said she wanted revenge. It's within reach. 30 seconds. And Jad Jacob wins the battle of the 57s and redemption and revenge for the French. See you in Lithuania. Superb. Wow. I already can't wait for the rematch. One for one now. And Jad Jacob's Sheffield record and Agatha Shitko. So this will give her the 600 she told us she was coming for. Uncontested now, four and a lead here at Sheffield. Nobody's gonna catch up to her, but would like to finish with that 600 kilo prediction she gave. We all were wondering, was it just boastful? Was it just hype? Well, she's living up to the hype today. 248.5, world record deadlift, world record total, and new standard for the 69s and 40,000 pounds in prize money. That's gonna go an awful long way when she brings that back to Poland. And it looks like she's done it! Did it dip? Is it good? I got the shit go! Win Sheffield 2024! 600 kilos! She did what she told us she'd do. We said she was inconsistent. She has gone nine for nine. Do you believe it? And 252.5 for Carlina Tongatea. This will give her 610.5. And it will also move her. This is how tight it is. This will move it from 11th to 5th. Looking to crack the top five in one deadlift. That's a huge jump in the rankings. In a rankings among world champions and the strongest women we've ever seen in this sport. She's finally extended her own total world record. This will push it another 10 kilos up. She rallied back in the squats. She might be able to rally back here. 
It was very close, just that lockout on the right side. She's capable. Oh, this one looks a little better. Keep yeah. It. I think that is fantastic. Let's out a war cry, and that's how she wants to finish the day. Showing tons of heart, Kalinga Tongatea. 610.5. Cracks into the top five just like that, Joe. Look at how hit the yell at the top. It's going to be dramatic. It's not over till it's over. It's not over till it's over. And Amanda Lawrence, 262.5. 20 kilo jump from her opener. Asking them to bring it back. So this will give us 647. Oh, this is the world record then. It's 645 currently. This will give us 647. And only six kilos below her world record deadlift. A new world record in the 84 kilo class. It's there. And that's the sticking point for Amanda, right over the quads. And she gets it, three white lights. It was a tough lift though. It was. And Carl Johansson, 330 kilos, 0.5. Shell Becklin, who holds the total world record, holds the deadlift world record as well. And Cali looking to break that in his second attempt. This will put him at 785.5 total. Cali pulled 328 previously for a best. PR territory. Here we go, it's more than he's done on the platform before, but we know he's got a massive deadlift. Not only does he have a big deadlift, he proved at last year's Worlds, he can rise to the occasion when he needs to. He's got more left there. That was pretty smooth for a world record, Joe. Callie Johansson has more in the tank and ready to defend the 74 kilo throne. He moves ahead of Tim Monogatti, if temporarily, as Tim Monogatti will attempt 331 to take that record, nudge past Callie, and temporarily into third. He has been incredibly impressive today. He's only missed one lift. He missed his uh, last dead, uh, bench. And his deadlift has been moving fast in training. Sixteen kilo jump for Tim. Tim's pulled 345 in training. That's back home in New Zealand. We're a long ways away from there. But the way Tim's been lifting today, I wouldn't doubt him. Here he comes. I think he can do it. I think he's going to do it. I think both these gentlemen are going to push over 800. If you're wanting, Carl. We talk about weight cuts hurting your total. We talk about traveling hurting your total. This is the man proving all that wrong. Yeah. Tim, Carlina, Evie, they're a different breed, though. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was just as easy as Kelly's. That looked like a second attempt, not a world record, and that's what you want to see. If I told you a world record just fell right there, Gavin Eden, 345, a 25-kilo jump for him, but 320 moves so quickly, it looked like it could have been an opener. This will put Gavin at 80, 887 kilos for a total and move him temporarily into second place. And I think the total world record is, is it 888? It is, so he's just underneath it. But we spoke to it before, the temptation to chase the record and overreach. This would also move him ahead of all the other 93s 
It's forcing their hand, and should they load up and miss, Gavin wins the battle. He's played a great game today. Aiden, 887 kilo total. He's pulled himself ahead of the rest of the pack. And Gavin takes the lead in the battle of the 93s. <laughs> He's enjoying this moment in the line. He yeah. deserves it. Yeah, the refs ask his coach, come and get your lifter. And the coach is like, well, I think I'll let him out there a couple seconds. It's not that easy. Gavin will be a tough guy to bully off the stage. And Jonathan Keiko, 347.5 for the win. This will move him from third to first. Of course, it'll be temporary with some other lifters left to come. But this should be within reach for Keiko. He's done this way before. He's looked good. This has been a well-played battle plan. It'll put him, at, put him at 893 and really force Gustav's hand. Currently only Delaney is past the world record total. He's locked it out. And Keiko moves into the And that is why Jonathan Keiko is Jonathan Keiko. Yet again, faced against those odds. That was clearly an emotional moment for him. As you say, he came back, he battled through. Showing tons of heart. He did it all, he did all he could. He left it on the platform, yeah. whatever Gustav does. 355 will move Gustav Hedlund from fourth to first overall. Wow. And give him an 895 total. This would be a story. Yeah, this would be huge. Look at the look on his face. He looks confident. He's already smiling. This would be huge. He's done 345 on the first platform. Can you take Kilo's more? If he wins not only the battle of the 93s, but moves himself into first place. Oh, what a story that would be. Oh! It was and easy. Revenge it is for Gustav Hedlund. He's waited all these years for this moment to finally emerge as the number 193, and here 